Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Robin and today I'm going to be sharing with you a thrift with me video. I recently got together with my friends Nicole Northgarden and Jamie from Border Bananas and we went to an occasional sale and then of course we hit up a few thrift stores as well. So first off today I'm going to share with you the video that I took while we were all shopping together and then I'll come back in and share with you all the fun little things that I found while we were out together shopping. I found some amazing things, some vintage stuff and some stuff for the house, which I am very, very excited about and I cannot wait to share with you. So I hope you keep watching. Good morning, everyone. I am out and about already this morning. It's bright and early. It's about 10 o'clock. I suppose it's not that early anymore, but I am meeting up with Nicole and Jamie. Um, Jamie's from Border Bananas and Nicole is from Nicole North Garden and we have met up before a few times now so I'm very excited we are gonna do some thrifting we are also stopping off at our occasional sale that we love so much oh my goodness look at my hair is going what is going on you see this I had I tried to wear my hair down today it was so staticky that I couldn't it's just so dry here oh so ponytail it is today it just looks fabulous I know I seem like I always wear a ponytail it's a craziness but Anyways, I don't care about my hair because I am looking to have some good time with my friends today and find some really fun things. So I will definitely be taking you along. We are starting out at the occasional sale that we like so much. I believe it's called Hopped Antique Market. We took you through this store, I think, in December when they had their Christmas stuff out. This month's theme, I think, is like organized or something like that. So it'll be interesting to see what they have. I'm hoping that they have like vintage, um, like desk stuff. I think that would be so much fun. I love that kind of stuff. So we shall see. We shall see. So I will uh, check in with you later. Bye.
So we just got done at Red Robin. We had some delicious burgers and fries. And now we are going to go to Goodwill. <laughs> they really need to do some plowing in this parking lot. It's terrible. Here we go. Savers now. We just got done at Goodwill and it's starting to snow outside again. But I haven't been to this particular store in a really long time. I don't have anything in my cart yet, but look at this. That is so cool. I'm totally loving this. Love it. Not that I need it. Starting out at our very last store for the day, Unique, which is where I do most of my shopping. I'm just doing something out of the corner of my eye. Look at this. Cool. I don't know what you do these, use these for, but I like this. But anyways, it's $3.99. Anyways, I'm gonna go catch up with Jamie and Nicole. And hopefully, we can buy some cool stuff.
had a fabulous time. Saw lots of inspiration and a lot of things we wanted to buy, but of course we couldn't buy everything. But I did manage to pick up some really unique things that I think are going to be a great addition to my home decor and my collections. So let's hop into the first place that we went to. It was an occasional sale. It's only open a few days per month. Um, and it is in Apple Valley, Minnesota. It is called the Hopped Antique Market. You may remember we went here back in December together for the very first time. And now we went back for this month as well. And I'm hoping that it might turn into like at least once a month or every couple months that we do it together, which is really fun. Because it's so much more fun to go with friends than just going by yourself. Because you can't see everything. Like, there are things that I missed that they f saw and then showed them to me. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even see that. So it is helpful to go to those occasional sales um, with friends. Because a lot of times they're on the lookout for what you're looking for and for what they're looking for. And they can spot things that you can't see sometimes that you get distracted by other things. So anyways, let's go ahead and show you what I found at the market um, I spent, I splurged a little bit because I found some really cool things that I did not want to pass up. I ended up spending $54.63, but that's okay because I had put money aside just for this day because I wanted to find some unique things for my home, which I can't, I haven't been able to find other places. So if I saw something, I had money put aside for that specifically. It was like my birthday money and stuff like that. So that is what I picked up and I also was hoping that they were going to have Valentine's th things because I haven't bought any new Valentine items like vintage Valentine items in like a couple of years because I haven't been able to find them. They are very hard for me to find around this area. So I was very happy that there was like Valentine's everywhere. So I did pick up a few of those, but I'll share that for the last. All right. So the first things I picked up. So I picked up three things that are non-Valentine related. And the first thing I picked up for my kitchen, and I'm going for, well, you probably already know this. You probably already know I am going for like a red and white theme. Oh, now the dogs are going to play. Kramer's awake. You may remember I have a red and white theme going on in my kitchen, but I also throw in a lot of black accents as well. So I found this tin right here, and I fell in love with it. It has all my colors and I absolutely love this background pattern. I think it is so cool. So this was $8 so I picked it up. It didn't have a lid but that's okay because I kind of want to put like I don't know I'll put I don't know what I'm going to put in it but I was thinking it would look really cute with like a floral arrangement in it or something like that or I can use it to corral you know another collection basically. So I thought that was really super cool. So the next item I picked up was $12, I believe, if I remember right. They took the tags off of everything, but I'm pretty sure it was $12. It is this right here. It is a vintage match holder, which I saw and fell in love with. I love its, like, patina, and I think it is so cool. So it's got the little area to put the matches in, and then down below here you can see where they've used the bottom of it to actually start the match, which I think is super cool. And I think this is going to look so cool against my white cabinets on my in my kitchen. So I'm going to hang this around my, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word now. My, my kitchen sink area. And I think it'll look really cool. You can probably see that I really like like the dark, like bronzy, aged bronze look with the white cabinets because all of my handles are like that. So I thought this would look really nice too. So anyways, super excited about that. Very unique. Not something you see every day. And I think that is so cool. And that's kind of what I'm like trying to find for my home these days. So I feel like I have enough of the basics. And now I kind of want to branch out into things that are very unique. And would be, you know, fun. <laughs> and vintage. So I thought this was really cool. All right. I feel like this video is going to turn out really, really long. Because I'm super chatty today. <laughs> Oops. Hope you guys don't mind. You guys always tell me you don't mind my chatty long videos because, and I hope you're right because this is going to be one of them. <laughs> All right. So then the next thing I picked up that was non, um, related to Valentine's day was a little hand mirror. 
I saw this, it was $14.99, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll try not to blind you. It has a silver handle and a silver surround on like a rectangle mirror, which I think is so cool. But then look at the other side. Oh my goodness, isn't it awesome? I just think this is the coolest thing ever. I love the black and white with the silver. It's got like this, it's, it almost looks like this should be like monogrammed, but it's not. It's got like this square, you're probably not gonna be able to see it. It's got a silver square and then there's like these little scrolly bits around the outside on the top. Very, very cool. This seems like very like art deco to me. I don't know if that's correct or not, but to me it seems like it should be like the 30s or the 40s and I just think it is so cool. So I bought this to go on like my dresser in my bedroom, which I'm kind of hoping to like sort of start collecting things to like do like a mid-century modern kind of like glam look in my bedroom. I think that would look really cool. So this will fit right into that. So that was a super cool find. I almost didn't get it, but the girls kind of talked me into it. They're like, you're never going to find anything like that again. So they talked me into it and I'm so glad they did because if I would have came home without it, I think I would have been really sad. <laughs> Sometimes you just need that little push, you know? So anyways, so that was really cool. And that was also obviously something I splurged on. Um, but that's cool because that's very unique and I really, really love it. So that's really cool. This next item is super adorable and I didn't pick it up right away, but I was just like, oh, this is so cool. And we all like went crazy about it, but the other girls didn't want to get it. So at the very end, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to pass this up, but it's so tiny and I like miniatures, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But let me just show it to you. Show it to you. I can't remember how much it was. It might've been like $3 two or three dollars it wasn't much and it is this little guy right here it's a little teeny tiny calendar and on the front it says 1912 it's kind of got like a Christmas theme on it but you turn the little pages and it's actually a whole calendar for the year which is so cool so in January my birthday was on a Thursday in 1912 if I were alive so anyways I know this is really tiny, you probably can't see it. Let me see if I can't, let me show you a picture of it up close so you can see how just adorable it is. This is adorable. Oh, I just love this. It is so cute. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it but I was not gonna pass it up. I just think this is just so much fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> All right, so then, um, of course I was looking for Valentine's. Like I said before, I was looking for Valentine's. Um, I have quite, I mean, you know, I have a modest collection of them already, but I wanted to add a few more to them because I hadn't found anything in a couple of years. So, of course I was looking through them and I found a few the first one is this one right here. It was $2 and it is to you from me, it says. This almost looks like Christmassy to me, but is actually like a bleeding heart plant and then like the little bow on the bottom. And I just loved the bright pops of red on it. So I thought that was really cute. And then this next one was $2 as well. And this little girl just spoke to me with her little freckles. I just thought this was super cute. And it says, I want you for my Valentine. This one's actually a card. It opens up all the way, which you don't see that all the time. Normally it's just kind of like one-sided. All right, so the very next one I picked up was this little duck one right here. <laughs> I tend to like the animal ones the best. I That's what I have most in my collection, I think. I just think they're so adorable. But anyways, this one says, Dear Sister, hurrying to say, be my Valentine today. And then it has this little thing, you go like this, and it looks like the little duck is walking or running if you go faster. Isn't that cute? Love that. So it actually says on the back from Mark, and it has, it says 1965, eight years old. So Mark must have gave his sister this Valentine in 1965, which I think is super cute. All right, and then I did pick up one more Valentine, and this one was $2 as well. 
and it looks like this. This one was my favorite find of the day. I found it right away, like in the first little Valentine bin right inside the door, but I didn't pick it up right away, and at the end, I'm like, you know what? It was still stuck in my head, so I went back to see if they still had it, and they did, so I picked it up. I just think it's so cute. I love the little harp and the little girl playing the harp. It looks so pretty. It says, to my Valentine, I'm harping on this note. You're the one I want. <laughs> And then it is signed on the back. It says Beth. So those are the Valentines that I picked up. I was just so happy to be able to add those to my list of treasured vintage Valentines. All right. So then I picked up one more thing at the occasional sale that is Valentine related. And I never would have even thought to look for something like this. But they had like four of them at the store. And I just thought they were so cool. This one was $6.00. And then there was a couple other ones to, you know, choose from that were in the six to eight dollar range. And it is this vintage chocolate box. Isn't this so cute? I ended up picking up this one because it didn't have like the white lace on the outside. It had the ribbon instead. And I really liked the ribbon along the outside. And then, of course, I love this little bouquet. In the middle I think that is just so cool and it doesn't have any date on the back of it other than it says the Elmer Candy Corporation um, in L in Louisiana I believe LA is that Louisiana I think so I don't know for sure let me know if I'm wrong <laughs> it's been a while since I learned my <laughs> state abbreviations <laughs> But anyways, I just thought this was super cool, and I am so excited to add this to my Valentine decor, and I just think it is so cool. So, that is what I picked up at the first store that we went to, the occasional sale. And then from there, we went to Goodwill, I think, if I remember correctly. The first thing I picked up was this little girl um, figurine, which I think is so adorable. She's got her little handkerchief on her head and a cute little dress and a little apron. And she's like feeding like, I think it's supposed to be like a squirrel, but it almost looks like a fox. I can't tell what it is really. Actually, from the tail, it really looks like a fox to me. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with it's a fox. Um, this was $2.99 and I thought it was adorable. I don't know why, but I'm really, since Christmas time, I'm really into like these little figurines of like with like little animals and stuff. Because at Christmas time, I was all about the little angel, you know, and figurines and stuff with the little red dresses and stuff. So now I'm like kind of moving over into this. And I thought, because she has a cute little pink dress, she would work for Valentine's Day. So I'll probably put that out with my decorations. Um, it does have a sticker on it as well. It says Home Co. Made in Taiwan. So I just thought she was super cute. They actually had like three or four of these. And like different, you know, scenarios with different animals. But this was my, my favorite. So I thought I'd pick one up and see how it went. So this next thing I picked up is not something that I have anything like. But I'm really loving like clear glass lately. So I picked up this little tray right here. With the cute little silver handle. I think it is so cool. Um, I am noticing now that there's one corner that's got a teeny tiny little chip in it. But I don't think it matters because it's not even like I can run my finger over it and I'm not like getting cut or anything. So I think it's a clean break. Anyways, so this was $1.99. And I figured I could use this like on my um, dresser to like hold bobby pins or hair ties or, you know, itty bitty little things that I want to hold. Maybe my earrings, of course, that sort of thing. So I thought that was cute. And this would kind of work with my sort of glam look that I want to start doing in my bedroom. So, I thought that was really cool. And um, then, this one, next item, I cannot believe this, but I can't remember who, was it Jamie? I can't remember. Jamie and, and Nicole were like ahead of me in the row and they went to the end cap where there was like silverware and all of a sudden there was a big stir and a commotion and they're like, Robin, look at these. So they had found me a little grab bag of spoons with my beloved Starburst on them. There's like a whole bunch of them in here. 
It was $3.99. And these are not just regular old spoons. They are grapefruit spoons, which I think is awesome. So let me count them real quick. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of them. So we got twelve of these. You're not going to be able to see it, but it does have the gorgeous little starburst on it that I am loving so much. And then look at the top. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well or not, but it is a grapefruit spoon. It's got the shredded, charaded, I guess you would call it, um, tip on it. So I don't really eat <laughs> grapefruit, but I told the girls that I'd start eating my oranges with these instead. <laughs> So, I am super excited about these. I had no idea there was even such a thing like this out there with the Starburst on it. But now, I am a proud owner of 12 of them. <laughs> so, that was a really cool find. Hello, sweetie. My babies are wanting attention. All right, get down. Ow, 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 ow. So, the next thing I picked up was a planter. And I don't know, I went back and forth on it. And actually, Nicole picked it up for a while, too, and she hemmed and hawed about it, and then she put it back. And then I, I don't know why, I'm always at the end of, like, our little, you know, thrifting train. train. So we, it's hilarious because we all kind of pick up the same things as we go along. Um, but I didn't even know she picked it up until after I had it in my cart, and she was like, oh, I like that. I had that in my hand for a while, too. But she said she put it back. So I'm like, all right. But I just thought... I hemmed and hawed about it, but I just decided I was going to go ahead and do it. I think it'll look really cute down in my craft area, and that's kind of what I got it for. And I'm kind of really into, like, kitschy items lately. So, <laughs> can you imagine what it is? I've been talking a lot about it. Anyways, it was $4.99, so it was a little more expensive. But it is this adorable little bear, and he's got a little, he's a little planter. And I just think he's so adorable. I think because he's pink, I may try to work him into my Valentine's decor. I'm not really sure if I will or not, but I could. I just think he's adorable. I think mostly he's just going to be for fun down in my craft area because he just makes me smile. I think he's so adorable. So, yeah, um, it does have a sticker on it. I don't know if I can read it without my glasses. Gift wears Nancy... Q, Japan, I think that's what it says. It does have a date. No, it doesn't have a date. It does have a stamp into the bottom of it. It says Japan and then 7970. So I don't know. I need to do a little looking up to see if maybe it actually is. I have no idea if it's vintage or not, but I'm assuming it is sort of. But if not, it is definitely vintage inspired. And I love him so much. So... I thought that was super cute. So the last thing I picked up at the Goodwill was a candle holder, which I saw right at the very end, um, which <laughs> Jamie had actually picked up and looked at as well, but she put it back, and I saw it for the first time. I walked past it the first time, didn't see it. Walked past it again, and I saw it, and I'm like, oh, that is so cool. It was $3.99, and it is this candle holder right here. You guys know how much I love the candle holders with the handle on them and I have quite a growing collection of them but none of mine have the globe on it like this and I just think it is so cool it's, and I am loving the finish on it it's like almost an antique bronze I don't have any in like this color uh, most of them mine are silver so this is kind of a fun thing to get another different color I can use a different time of the year or something it does have a candle in there and I'm just loving the globe. The globe actually is got a little bit of like a flower etched into it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. There's like a flower sprig. One on the side and one on the other side. So I'm very excited to get this, you know, cleaned up. I'm probably going to use it tonight when I um, do my candle time tonight. I'll light this candle and walk around the house with it with all the lights off. It'll be so much fun. So I am looking forward to using that for sure. So then we went to the next store, which was a Savers, and I didn't find anything there to get until the very, very end. And oh my goodness, was I shocked to find this item. It is a vintage sewing machine that was $10, and it is like in this very pale blue, almost aqua color, 
and it is awesome, and I am so in love with it. Um, it is too heavy for me to hang, um, to hold up. It is super duper heavy, so I will show you a picture of it now. What do you think? Oh my goodness, I am so excited about that. Oh, I love it. Like right now, I want my craft area like cleaned up so I can like put it there in a place of prominence down there and just enjoy it. So, that's, which is a long ways off because it's looking like Hoarderville down in my uh, craft area right now. But, oh, I just love it so much. And I did hem and haw about it. The girls had to kind of like talk me into it because I was just like head over heels in love with it. But I really didn't want to spend ton dollars on it because I don't know, for me, that seems really high at Savers. Um, but if you think about it, uh, vintage, something like that, anywhere else like Antique Mall or something like that would be probably triple that price. So I got a really good deal on it, even though it seemed like a little high at the time. But now I'm thinking... I got a total steal. So I'm very excited I got that. I'm glad the girls were with me or I probably would have passed it up. So yeah, that was a great item. So then we went to the last store, which was called Unique. And that's the place that I normally shop every week as well. And I found some stuff there to share with you as well. So let me grab that. I found some really cool dishes that I just could not pass up. You know, I guys have been working on purging my house and I got rid of some dishes but I kept a lot of dishes. I didn't get rid of many, as many as I thought I was going to, but that's okay. I kept absolutely my, just my favorites. All right, so the first set of dishes, there's two like saucer dishes. They were $1.49 each, and they look like this. Ah, oh, aren't they gorgeous? I was a little concerned. Rima, no. Oh my gosh, she keeps scratching me. Stop it, Sue, stop it. Go through. Go get your toy. All right. I was a little concerned that they're not white. I mean, normally I go for white, but this is more of a cream color. But I figured it would be okay. Because um, I really loved the pattern around the outside. It's like urns and like scrolls and like garland. I don't really know exactly. But I just thought they were really, really, really pretty. And $1.49 each. I thought that was really cool. It was by the San Santone, I believe it says on the back. 19, ah, stop, Rayma. Santone, Warwick, China, made in the USA, 1946, if I'm reading it correctly, with my super duper bad eyesight without my glasses. So anyways, I just thought these were super pretty, and of course I wanted to pick those up. All right. Um... The next thing I found was another set of dishes. I know, it's so terrible, but these are awesome. And there was four of them for $3.99. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm hoping that that is showing up. Basically, they have a starburst in the middle. That is awesome. It's like black and yellow, and I am in love. It also has a long... The outside, a rim of gold or silver along the outside. And I just think they are so gorgeous that I am in love with them. And it says modern, I can't read it. Modern something. Modern, modern star made in the USA. And then some sort of numbers, letters or something. HLG. I don't know anything about that. But anyways... There's four, a stack of four of these, and I thought these would be so cute, like on top of a white plate or something like that, and I, of course, am obsessed with the Starburst. So yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. I looked high and low for like the big plates. They didn't have them, but I'll keep going back and keep looking. Maybe they'll show up on another day or something like that. All right, so then I have three more things to share with you. The first thing is something utilitarian. Some forks. Remember a while back I was running out of spoons? Well, no, I'm running out of forks. I have no idea where all our forks are. I have like three left. And I've been looking for a couple weeks. When it comes to forks, I like a nice, chunky, heavy fork, if that makes sense, when I'm eating. I don't know why, I just do. 
and these fit the belt. They're very, very simple. Um, they were $3.99, and I think there are, I don't even know how many there are, two, four, six of them, and they're just basic, but then the bottom kind of looks like this, it's got a little bit of a indentation kind of flange, I guess you'd call it, so yeah. So I don't know, they look nice. They're just stainless steel. So anyways, I just thought these were a good find for you know everyday use, which we need them. So that is awesome. So the next thing I picked up was a planter. I'm always on the lookout for planters and I sort of like keep an eye out for white ones that have a basket weave. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And right now I have two or three of them. Well, I found another one to add to the mix. They're not all matching, but they all have the basket weave. And this one I picked up for $1.99 and I thought it was so cute. It's like the perfect size. I don't know if you're gonna see the basket weave very well. There you go. Kinda has the basket weave going on. It's porcelain. I have a couple porcelain ones, a couple like just plastic ones from like vintagey ones. I just think these are so cool. So this is like the perfect size for, you know, putting on my window seal with a little plant in it or sit on a bookcase or something like that. So loving this find so much. And then the very last thing that I picked up was just this little bowl, little white bowl. You can't go wrong with a little white bowl. And to me, this shape is very farmhouse or, you know, and I'm loving it. So this was only $1.49 and there was only the one of them. I looked around to see if maybe they had ones that were bigger or smaller or Lord knows maybe the same size so I could get a couple of them. But no, I only had this one, but that's all right. It says sterling on it and that's some really blurry other stuff. But then it says 1951. So I don't know if that's the brand or not, but I need to look that up a little bit. But I just think this is super cool. It's got like that ironstone weight to it and it looks very much like it's ironstone. I don't know that it is, but it is very cool. So I was happy to pick this up as well. All right, so I know that I had a fabulous time shopping with um, Jamie and Nicola. I always do, but I found some really amazing things today that I'm just so over the moon about. And I know that they are that way about some of the things that they found as well when we were out shopping. So now it is time for you guys to go over to Jamie's channel and to Nicole's channel and see what they found. They will be sharing their hauls as well today. So make sure you check out the description box down below. I will have their channels linked there so you can go on over and see what they found as well when we were all out shopping together. When you guys are over there, make sure that you leave them a comment and show them a little love down in the comment section. That would be very much appreciated. And to all of you, I would just want to thank you for hanging in there with me today in this epically long um, video. I tried to go as fast as I could, but I wanted to be able to share everything that I picked up in one video and also, of course, us shopping together. So um, if you're still here, I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for hanging out with me today. And I was just so excited to be able to share my new treasures with you guys. So I would love to know down in the comments which item that I picked up is your favorite thing that I found. I would love to know what you guys think because I have like two like ultimate favorites. Like if I only had to have picked up two things, I know which two of those things would have been. So I would love to know what your version of those two things would be. So let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help out my channel a lot. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will let you get going. I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye now.